In preparation for this video, I had to decide which exact distros to compare. Considering the sheer size and numbers of Linux distributions out there, I had to narrow it down. Going off popularity and user base seemed to be the best option. In order to get some accurate measurements, I decided to compare the size of subreddits based on number of followers. I was surprised to see Arch in number one by a long shot. Then we have Ubuntu, Fedora, and Linux Mint. Since I don't use Arch, I can only give a valid comparison of the latter three. Starting with my very first distro, we'll cover Linux Mint. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, which in turn is based on Debian, basically the great-grandfather of many distributions. There is an exception, which is Linux Mint Debian Edition, which is directly based on Debian and whose goal is to continue Linux Mint if Ubuntu were to ever disappear. Basically, they're cutting out the middleman and no longer relying on Canonical. Linux Mint is the only fully community-driven distro of these three. What I mean by that is Ubuntu is funded by, ran, and heavily contributed to by Canonical, and similar with Fedora and Red Hat. Though there is some nuance with their relationship, with the Fedora project being their own organization separate from, but funded by Red Hat. Linux Mint, on the other hand, basically has no affiliation with commercial interests and is entirely ran by volunteers and through donations. This can be either a positive or a negative thing depending on how you look at it. One day, development may slow down if people become less interested in volunteering to contribute and donate. Fedora, on the other hand, being backed by a multi-billion dollar company, could be seen as more stable and better outlook for the future. On the flip side, there are positives to not having any company affiliation and being entirely community driven. It really depends on your perspective. For deciding what exactly to compare, I decided to separate those who are more technical and use the terminal frequently, and other casual users who just want a nice desktop experience. Firstly, for the technical details, Ubuntu and Linux Mint, being based on Debian, use its respective package managers and other suite of tools. APT, or APT, which stands for Advanced Package Manager, is a front end to the lower level, more granular tool, dpackage, which you can use manually to install .deb packages. The equivalent in Fedora is DNF, a front end to its lower level RPM tool used to install .rpm packages. As far as user experience, different features and thoughts between distros like Ubuntu, Fedora, and Linux Mint, all I can say is I'm not too strongly opinionated one way or the other. Each distro is mostly the same. They all have their own file manager, Firefox, software manager, GNOME terminal, and other similar suite of applications. To show these similarities, I have some footage of each, starting with Linux Mint. Alright, so starting off, we can open up our File Explorer or File Manager. And this is Nemo, which is actually a fork of GNOME files. And you can see the functionality of a file manager is pretty standard. And next we have the f software manager, which is Mint install. And next for the terminal, it's pretty standard, it's just the GNOME terminal. And then for package management, given that it's based on Ubuntu and Debian, it uses apt, or advanced package manager, and dpackage. And then finally, just to have a quick look at the user interface, you can see you have a very nice panel, which is equivalent to the Windows taskbar. Uh, this was a main uh, sort of design in Linux Mint, was to have it very much like Windows to make the transition uh, from users going from Windows to Linux easier. And another really nice thing at the end there, you can see I have a little applet um, installed on the panel, which is nice. And there's lots of those that do all sorts of things. All right, so moving on, we have Ubuntu, which finally, luckily, I was able to actually get it up and running in a virtual machine. So starting off, we have the File Explorer which in this case is just GNOME files, and this is the same as Fedora. Both Ubuntu and Fedora share a lot of applications coming from GNOME. And next, the App Store, which is basically your software manager where everything is installed using Snap packages. And moving on, we have the same old GNOME terminal. Again, using apt and dpackage. Though what I didn't mention in this footage is that most things are in Snap packages, including Firefox and most other applications. And lastly, you can look at the user interface. Alright, so finally we have Fedora, which is actually my current distro of choice, and what I'm using to record and edit this video right now. 
Um, you can see it just uses uh, GNOME files for the file manager, similar to uh, Ubuntu. And then for the software manager, it uses GNOME software, which I've had really good experience with. And then like the other two, you just have the GNOME terminal, but this time use DNF for package management, which is actually written in Python, so it's incredibly slow, but people say it's better in pretty much every other way, and I believe them. And that's used to install RPM packages. And here you can see the user interface is very similar to Ubuntu's because they both use the same desktop environment, GNOME. That sums up the video, and thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to support more content like this.